Well, at least half of America's governors now backing Texas Governor Greg Abbott in his battle with the Biden administration over securing the border. They are all Republican. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is among them. Uh, she is at the border today in Eagle Pass, and she calls it a war zone. Governor, great of you to join us. We appreciate it. You say that you are proud of what Texas is doing. Tell us why. I am. I'm incredibly proud of Texas and the actions that they're taking. They're protecting their state sovereignty. Listen, this is Texas land. Shelby Park belongs to the state of Texas. It's a part of the United States of America, and the president is refusing to defend it from an invasion. So today was the deadline that President Biden gave Texas to uh, that they were going to start cutting down some of the razor wire. There has been uh, none of that happening here today, but I, as the governor of South Dakota, see the effects of Joe Biden ignoring federal law and allowing this invasion every single day in my home state. Uh, the funneling of the human trafficking and the drugs comes across this border, comes into my state through my tribal reservations. It devastates my people. That's why I'm proud to stand with Governor Abbott and uh, his people here that are working to keep America safe. Do you worry, Governor, that Texas might be seen as defying the Supreme Court, defying the federal government, especially when Republicans mainly support the makeup of this Supreme Court? You know, it's interesting, the decision that came out of the Supreme Court, they talked about the fact that Biden could take down concertina wire, a razor wire. Uh, Texas will put it back up. Uh, I think there'll be other legal challenges, but I'm proud of the fact that this state and 25 other governors are standing and declaring and protecting our state sovereignty. Uh, Texas and those 13 original colonies would have never signed the treaty that formed the first constitution of the United States if they didn't think that their right to protect themselves and defend their own people was protected. Uh, so what Joe Biden is doing is threatening our state sovereignty. And if he does federalize the National Guard, the Texas National Guard, that'll be unprecedented. That is actually yep. activating a federal guard to and telling them to stand down and not protect the United States. I don't think we've ever had soldiers activated and told that they were being activated so that they would not protect and defend the United States of America. So we're in unprecedented yep. times and I'm incredibly proud of the men and women that are here on this border today, making sure that they're trying to slow down this invasion. Yeah, I'm gonna, I want to put these uh, full screens up. These are Fox News voter analysis from Iowa and New Hampshire. I know you can't see them. It simply says that immigration is the number one issue in both of those, Governor. And now, of course, you have the Biden administration saying that it's Republicans who don't want the border secure because they want to run on this. Do you believe that Congress can fix this mess down there? We need leadership. You know, leadership has consequences. So Congress could, but if you have a president that ignores federal law, uh, you know, no law that Congress passes will have, be effective then. You have to have a president in the White House that respects federal law and respects immigration law and wants law and order. What Joe Biden is doing is fundamentally remaking America. If you want to see what America will look like in another year, another two years of Joe Biden's administration, look to Europe. Look at what's happened yeah. there and the devastation that they're enduring. Will it never be the same? And, and my question is, is if we don't stand now, if we don't defend our border and protect our country right now, yep. um, where will we go? If they, we allow them to remake America, what other country is better? Uh, why not stand here and protect and defend this country right now and, and fix what is broken? And what's broken right now is Joe Biden. And finally, Governor, you're in the middle of the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, we're showing all the razor wire against the Rio Grande. And I'm wondering, yesterday you said that you would bring razor wire to, Greg, to Governor mm -hmm. Greg Abbott. Did you bring razor wire down with you? Not today, but we do have some ready to go if they need it. And uh, I have told him that himself today. So, yes, we have plenty, and we'll bring the trucks down myself if we need to. Uh, Governor, thank you for your time. We know you're busy down there. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.